this might be. Maybe you've ever seen that picture before. <laughs> Not me, <laughs> but well remembered. Very good. That is my dad. Yes, and we are slightly similar. And he was like me, a vicar. But he left school at 13 and a half, and he became a hero for my country in World War Two. This is him in India during the war, where he became a major and came back with a run of medals. He became a hero, although he was a very ordinary person from a very ordinary and very poor background. Here are some very different heroes. They're like Captain Stoffel in a different way. As you can see on the screen, it says, two seven-year-old boys. It says, I never need to to raise money for people in Yemen who are going through the most appalling um, war and suffering and COVID as well. And they raised children in Yemen. They did it. This is from February this year. You see, anyone can be a hero. And even the NHS staff who have helped us and are still helping us through the pandemic that we're going through. I think they're all heroes. In the Heaven Picture magazine, if you can see that, it's put through all the doors in Heaven. The name gives it away. Peter Show. They ran a feature in September last year of Heroes of Amadition. And do you know someone in this room was there? There she is, Mrs. Palmer. Because of all she did to keep our school going through the crisis. But also all the staff at the school were heroes for what they did to keep school going. And then there's your parents, the carers. I think they are all heroes. Because they are amazing to have got you through this together. And the fact, especially, that some of them are having to go on their own makes them even more heroes in my view. But then that brings me, last but by no means least, to you. You see, you can be heroes. You have been heroes through this last year, especially, and in the years before. Because I believe that every time you made an effort, every time you get involved, every time you help someone else, every time that you refuse to join other people in doing what you know is wrong, even sometimes, just during the pandemic, getting out of bed in the morning when you didn't really want to, and logging on to Google Meets, Google Classroom, was heroic. So you too have been heroes. We can all be heroes. Every day we can be heroes. Going to your new school gives you even greater opportunities for heroism than just the ordinary. Because it's got more challenges and it's got more opportunities. Because as we were saying the other day, there are quite a few things that some of us are feeling a bit nervous about. Navigating our way around this enormous new school where different parts of the school are in different places for different activities. And we have this complicated timetable so we've got to be here at this point, then there at that point, then there at that point. We've got new teachers who don't know us and we don't know their names. And there's not just one to get to know, there's 11 of them. And then there are new subjects we've got to get our heads round as well. And zillions of other pupils who all seem to be bigger than us, some of them enormous. It's a challenge, but facing our fears is heroic. And helping other people in our new school to face their fears too is even more heroic. And that's why I chose that Bible reading from Joshua, which you heard three people just read home together. And it goes well with the, the parting gift that we're about to give you, a Bible, as a gift to say goodbye from our school. Be strong and very courageous. Study this book. Obey everything in it. Then you'll prosper and succeed. Don't be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's God's promise to you. He's there to help you 
to be a hero. Like Joshua, the man that the words were first addressed to, you can be a hero. Not like Walter Mitty's daydreams, but heroes who make a difference by the choices you make and the life you live. Mrs. Kelly, we should have a blank screen there. Maybe. Caught us out there. <coughs> so, as I just said, we're going to talk about the Bibles. As well as the Bibles, each um, of the children is going to get a wonderful little wordle that Mrs. Kelly has put together that is individual to them, with the words that she lives on, as well as um, key words like yes.
Lord, we pray for ourselves, Lord. We thank you for all that we've learnt from you at Sir Richards about being involved, bright and beautiful. Help us to continue to be the same in our new school. Thank you that we, all, that we can all be heroes and heroes by the choices that we make and the lives that we live. Guide us, Lord, as we go into new situations and have to make sometimes difficult decisions. Help us to see the best in ourselves and others and to be the best that we can be. And may our lives make a difference, we pray, as you pray that for ourselves, we pray it for each other, other as we set off out together on this new adventure in your name. Amen. Amen.
And I know you just sat down, but if you are leaving the school today, would you please stand up? And that includes someone over there, someone back there. Is that it, Mrs. Palmer? Is there else hiding? Being shy. So I will pray God's blessing on you particularly. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our school. We thank you for the way in which we have got through the storms of this last year. To this point today, thank you that we're able to be back in church for this very special occasion. And thank you for all the memories that have been shared today. We ask your blessing, yes, on all of us, but especially on those who are leaving scriptures today. On these children who are standing here, on members of staff who are standing there, here, and those who are in the school. Lord, thank you for all they've given to our school, uh, whether they've been here just a short time or throughout the whole of their school life. Be with them as they go on this new adventure. May they know your presence, know your courage, and may they uh, learn to make those good choices we've just sung about in their new place. We pray it be a time of excitement and joy and learning and fun, more than a challenge and fear. Bless the Lord. And bless us all as we come to the end of this school year. Bless our families with rest and refreshment over the summer. And for those of us who remain, bring us back renewed and inspired to start a new year again together. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.